are telling ourselves and others that evil is inevitable while good is impossible, may we stand corrected. <coughs> God of our mixed up, tragic, aspiring, doubting, and insurgent lives, help us to be as good in our hearts as we have always wanted to be. Amen. One of us is an island unto ourselves. We are all connected to each other no matter where we live in the world. Science tells us our DNA is the same across all races, yet we cause each other pain and grief. Today we are here to witness and recognize the victims of violence that we do to each other, sometimes with malice, sometimes by accident, sometimes in ignorance, and sometimes just by standing by and doing nothing. Throughout history, from the beginning of it, we have attacked each other. We have destroyed families, raped women and children, and put the land to ruin so it could not produce food. We have forced people, including children, to become warriors in conflicts they could not understand. We have brought disease and devastation. We have brought spiritual and physical desolation to each other and to the nations. Indonesia. Ireland, Indochina, Israel, Hungary, Italy, Iraq, Japan, Kenya, Kuwait, Kosovo, and of the Kurdish civilian population. Latvia, Liberia, Mexico, Mongolia, Myanmar, Namibia, Nigeria, the Nile Valley, North and South Korea, the Ottoman Empire, Palestine, Persia, Peru, Philippines, Portugal, Puerto Rico, Republic of Congo, Congo, Russia, Rwanda, Saudi Arabia, Scotland. I was born in the path of the wind, a wind and raised where the mountains are old. The springtime waters come dancing down. I remember the tales they told. The whistling wind of my younger days too quickly have faded on by. But all of their memories they linger on like the light in the fading sky. Take me along in your sunshine Sing me your song ever moving Finding and free You rolling old river You changing old river Let you and me river run down to the sea Take me along in your sunshine, sing me your song, ever moving, finding the free, rolling old river, you changing old river, let you and me river run down to the sea, let you and me river run down to the sea. no longer afford to relax and say that humanity will sort itself out. We cannot invade each other, ignore democratic principles, destroy land and people, and deny equality of persons and owners. We must stretch ourselves to accept and even embrace differences in language, in culture, in religion, so long as human rights are respected. If we fail to do this, we participate in the creation of a decaying human species. A planet where people fear to live. Where lives mean nothing in the face of moral, ethical pollution. As Webster Kitchell says, humanity is its own predator. We will destroy ourselves through human madness, through genocide, mass starvation, and disease. Last night I had the strangest dream. I've ever had before. I dreamed the world had all agreed to put an end to war. I dreamed I saw a mighty room with women and with men. 
of all the people who have taken their own lives. They made choices to die. And so therefore, I wanted to scatter them and carry on. And I just want to say that it, it strikes me how in my own lifetime, as we were reading the list of countries where genocide has happened, in my own lifetime, which I don't feel is very long, there has been so much, and even in my own children's lifetime, there has been many already countries around the world. And how um, we kind of take for granted the peaceful world we live in, and to then cite off those names of countries, it's just quite striking. So these two people represent the many non-Jewish Germans that perished because of the Nazis. Represent 30,000 people who died in Zimbabwe, which is in Africa. And uh, there's three of us today from Africa in Zimbabwe. I cannot question what God knows. It is His absolute knowledge what he does. But I am here reminded of all those who have died and were killed, murdered, unfair. And in this occasion, I cannot bring a big enough crane to pull a big enough rock to put in this garden. So I'm going to choose a different kind of soil, a different kind of rock, and spread it over. I'm here today in honor of the Memorial March for Missing and Murdered Women of Edmonton. What we do is we try to bring forth the issues that are surrounding our young Aboriginal youths and all women that have been put under the wire saying they're not good enough. You know, we don't care about them because they live a horrific lifestyle that we don't approve of. These women have had trials in their lives that have put them in positions where they didn't think they had any other choice. These women were lost. They weren't given away. They weren't able to find any sort of solace in their lives to be able to come out of there and be good, human, productive people. We let them stay in that position because we refuse to see who they were. There are women out there all over the place that are not given the hand. And if they are given the hand, they may bite. They're only fighting because they're scared. We've lost so many women, so many children to society in the way that we're saying, we won't listen to you because it doesn't affect us. We don't want to hear you because it'll hurt us. I'm here to say that we have to remember our lost and we have to save our future, our future and our children, our next generation. Those are the people that are being lost right now. And we need to be able to give them a hand and say, we love you, we need you, you are going to be what we need in the future. We're going to make our children and us proud. So I'm placing this today in front of the workshop because we want to find a way. We want to find our path.
as Genocide Memorial Garden. This garden honors the memory of victims who died violent deaths because of war, racism, religious persecution, sexual orientation, greed, slavery, ethnic cleansing, and appropriation of aboriginal lands. Reverend A. Brooks, June 21st, 2009. Amen. Yeah. 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 Yeah.